And lastly, we talked about this again briefly, but I want to remind you about the UV absorption of all of these nucleobases, which again is at 250 to 270. And this particular peak is again important because it helps us as scientists identify nucleotides in a sample. Now, can it distinguish from just one U base or one A base from a whole sequence of DNA? Um, somewhat in the intensity of the peak, you can tell that there is a little bit or a lot, but generally you just get a peak, whether you have a single base or you have a whole polymer. Now, this comes from a transition. This is a pi to pi star electronic transition that causes this um, peak to occur at the 250 to 270 nanometers. And this state in its excited state where it releases this, um, where it absorbs this um, UV light does decay very rapidly. And it decays in a way that is without radiation. Now, the reason that this is good is because it means that this is a, a very effective photo protection of our genetic material. So in the case that this type of radiation is absorbed by DNA, for example, it is quickly decayed and also decayed in a way that does not release radiation. Now, can you still have damage to DNA from other sources of um, intense UV light or other types of light like X-ray or other types of radiation? Yes, you can. Um, and those damages work through different means. But again, generally, that means that uh, this allows for the protection, photo protection of DNA. What it also means is that nucleic acids do not fluoresce. So if they emit, if they release this energy that is absorbed, but they do it without releasing a radiation transition, that means that no light is released. So Nucleic acids uniquely do not fluoresce when compared to things like proteins, for example, certain proteins in a cell will fluoresce under types of UV light. So here you can see an example of, this is an absorption spectra taken of different types of nucleotides. We see AMP, GMP, UMP, D, T, M, P, notice that because it's T, it has to have deoxy on it. All these other forms are using ribose. And you can see, again, between this 250 to 70-ish area is where we have the peaks for each of these types of nucleotides in that area.